Hello Triple R fans, this is Ryan Ryder with Triple R Investigations. Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about moving a scene project, your point cloud, into Ferrozone 3D. So you can do measurements, animations, whatever you need to do in that software uh, for documentation. So anyway, let's start in scenes itself. Um, when you open up your project, um, the first thing you want to do is create a point cloud. So in this one that we're showing for this video, um, it's just got two scans on it um, and uh, fairly small, but what we're going to do is um, get it squared away so we can move it into Ferrozone 3D. So this is already processed and registered, which is the stage you should be in when you're getting to this point. But we got to create these two point clouds, bring them together as an entire project. So how we're going to do that is go to the point project point cloud option, second bar under explore, under explore second bar project point cloud. On the uh, arrow down, we got an option that says create. When we click on it, we're gonna create and we're gonna use the default options uh, for this. It's very simple, we're not gonna do anything. If you have a kind of a sparse point cloud, you can close up some surfaces um, and enhance your color, in other words, blend your uh, surfaces in. Um, but this does take time. So if you're going to use these options, add some time to your project. Um, this is a two uh, um, scan project, so um, probably two and a half, three minutes of processing. Um, so as you get up into the 10, 15 scan range, and you're going to do this, you may want to plan it ahead of time and um, get uh, at least some time available to process that because it could take 30 minutes to an hour sometimes to process big projects. So if that's your situation, you uh, um, just plan ahead for us. That's all you need to do. So we're going to wait and see, get this um, project point cloud processed for this project so we can move into Ferrozone. Okay, now we've got the uh, um, point cloud process. Uh, this is the last screen that you'll get. It just shows you how much time it took to accomplish that and to save it. So we're going to hit OK. Um, this is a good point to save. So once again, top left is your save changes button. Um, you can put notes in here if you like. So just uh, on this one, just say point. Oops. If I can spell. And we'll save those options to that project. So um, all we're saving here, just a reminder, um, you, have, you can't really flip back and forth between scenes and feral zone re really well so um, once we get finished here we're going to close out scenes and open up feral zones separately and save some memory but um, they won't work um, at the same time all right so now we have the uh, project point cloud created we saved it this is the last window I'm um, just acknowledging that you saved it and uh, we're ready to go into Pharaoh zone so I'm going to close this out and uh, we're going to open up Pharaoh zone 3d and we're going to pull this project into Pharaoh uh, zone 3d the point cloud and um, so we can add animations do videos um, whatever you want to do out of Ferrozone 3D. So when you open up um, Ferrozone, you get the uh, startup window. Um, you can close it out um, or you can open just a new project. Um, you can see this is just a new project, no name up here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I need to get in that um, point cloud. So I have some data to work with. So I'm going to go under point cloud um, tab and right in the middle top, click on it and I get the window options for it. We have the far left where it says import scene project point cloud. I click on it and it'll pull up a window. It's basically asking me what project do you want to pull in? And we're going to go uh, let's see if I can find that project. Okay, once you uh, have your uh, folder that your project is in that we just worked on, we're going to go and we're going to um, collect the, the uh, scene 
scan project scene scan project it ends in dot l s p r o g um, license scene project okay so we're going to click on it highlight it now your open button is uh, highlighted in blue we can hit open and it's going to pull that project point cloud into our scenes ferro i'm um, sorry ferro zone so we can um, uh, work with it so it's just saying um, it's using your first um, scan as your zero point and then there you go we've got it populated with our that's what we we're just looking at um, on your project um, point cloud okay so uh, when you get into ferro zone you have some options one is um, we're in a point cloud you can go into um, cloud tools okay when you click on that you got some options Obviously, this is a point cloud. We can do some gap fill, which helps us visually um, see some of these things. And uh, this one, not so much, but you do have uh, one of the other options is a vertical cutoff. Um, if you have a building and want to cut the roof off, you can turn this on and um, do your 10 foot option, whatever, to cut that roof off. But this is what we're doing here. But um, one of the things here, once again, we got the point cloud in here. Um, we can go into various things um, just quickly we can do a dimension home and uh, uh, do do measurements if you want to do that for a project and so you can see there 23 and a half feet uh, if we wanted to do animations go into animations and pick up something from our uh, tools here to see where to go uh, I'm sorry go into symbols if we're going to do uh, um, animations maybe bring in a car or something here okay so then you know we got it's going to drop it on our point cloud as our surface uh, and we can start doing animations and whatever we, we want to do with this. And we can start uh, playing with it accordingly. So, anyway, once again, our objective today was to bring a Pharaoh scene, um, a project, bring your port cloud into Pharaoh zone so you can utilize it here. And uh, 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 spip it up. Uh, get some key measurements, animate it, um, whatever you're trying to accomplish here, do some studies, crash studies, um, your power, use your power tools for slide to stop or um, crush analysis. Uh, and you got your point cloud working in there. It works the same as um, if you have a vehicle um, point cloud you wanna bring in. Uh, you can do the same process in scenes with a clipping box and export that clipping box um, point cloud um, into a file and bring that file into here in a point cloud um, same process uh, but instead of a uh, under point cloud instead of the scenes you just do uh, other point clouds and you can bring it in as a pts file or whatever um, file you saved it under under point cloud so anyway i hope this helps um it's been Ryan Ryder with Triple R Investigations. Uh, come to our website at triplerinvestigations.com. Send us an email at r.ryan.ryder at triplerinvestigations.com with your ideas. We'll be glad to do some videos for you and help you uh, work with your uh, point clouds and Vero Zone and Zing software. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.